A new documentary about Princess Diana reveals how BBC reporter Martin Bashir played on her conspiracy fears to land their famous bombshell interview, telling her security forces were, going to wipe you. In, The Diana Interview, The Truth Behind the Scandal, royal biographer Andrew Morton alleges Bashir referred to the assassination plot, they're going to wipe you, when he presented Diana with a fake bank statement showing that her private secretary and Prince Charles's private secretary were working together with the security forces. They were implicated in this kind of dark conspiracy, to the point where Diana thought that her head was on the chopping block, Morton tells viewers, according to the Daily Mail. The documentary supports allegations that Bashir, who oversees the BBC's religion coverage, lied to Diana about her friends and staff members to land the 1995 Panorama interview. Bashir was feeding her stories which left her, and I am quoting from one of Diana's confidants here, terrified, horrified, Morton tells viewers. Included in the documentary, airing Monday on Channel 4 in England, is footage of ex-BBC News chief Tony Hall praising Bashir at a 10th anniversary celebration of the interview. Hall was the one, according to BBC documents, who gave Bashir a pass when the faked bank statement first surfaced. The graphic artist who created the document, though, was fired. The BBC has commissioned an independent investigation. The network is, determined to get to the truth of what happened, a spokesman said. Besides Morton, the princess's private secretary, Patrick Jeffson, speaks of how Bashir's alleged shenanigans make him feel, especially since assertions came to light after Diana died in a 1997 car crash in Paris. It upsets me more than I can say that, quite possibly, the princess died thinking that I had betrayed her, Jeffson tells viewers. In an exclusive interview with The Telegraph, the former security head for Diana's brother talks about how Bashir's claims ruined his life. The fake document suggested Waller was being paid by security forces, and the tabloids, to tail Diana. The perception was I had somehow worked with Bashir to fake these statements, that I was involved somehow. But I had never even met the guy, Waller told The Telegraph. But for some people I am the guy who sold her, Diana, out. Imagine how that will affect you. It tainted me in a very bad way. I was tarred with Bashir's really dirty tricks.